today I am breaking down 5G coverage. Over the last few years, the big three carriers have spent over $100 billion to buy Spectrum and grow their 5G footprint. Has it paid off? Well, not really. So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how much coverage has grown over the last year, which states have the least amount of coverage, and we'll take it a look at a map to see if you have coverage in your area. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistle Out. Let's go. If you are a 5G whiz, please know that I am showing you collective total coverage of 5G. I am not breaking it into low band, mid band, and high band. And if you had no idea what I just said, then you can take a look at these videos to learn more about 5G. But right now, let's jump into AT&T's numbers to see what their 5G looks like. Right now, AT&T has 33.5% coverage of 5G across the country. They grew their coverage in the last 12 months just by 7%. Now that's pretty small, but <laughs> this is actually the most growth of all the carriers for the last 12 months. So take that for what it's worth. Right now, AT&T is looking at 33.5% 5G coverage across the United States. They grew their overall coverage by 7% in the last 12 months. Now, to me, that seems pretty small, but they blew T-Mobile and Verizon out of the water in terms of growing that footprint. But right now, let's take a look at the map to see who has the least amount and who has the most AT&T 5G coverage. AT&T's 5G coverage is really strong in the Midwest and going into the Northeast. However, Iowa and Nebraska, Montana, Idaho, and Nevada have next to no 5G coverage along with Maine. So if you live in any of those states, might want to stay away from AT&T this time around. Right now, let's head to T-Mobile to see what their coverage looks like. When we're talking 5G, we have to talk about T-Mobile because they came out of the gate strong. And right now they have the most 5G coverage of all the carriers sitting at 51% coverage. However, they only grew their coverage by 3% this last year, which is very minimal. But because they do have a substantial footprint when it comes to 5G, if you're on T-Mobile's network, chances are you are using their 5G whenever you're using data. Small caveat here, most of T-Mobile's 5G coverage is slower 5G. It's not the fast 5G, it's not high band. We're looking at low band and mid band for T-Mobile. So keep that in mind. T-Mobile's 5G is not going to be the speedy speeds you're expecting when it comes to 5G. Looking at T-Mobile's map is pretty impressive. Their coverage map obviously shows killer amounts of coverage, but remember I said lots of it is slower, sometimes even slower than 4G speeds. But we're looking at the map, the least amount of coverage is gonna be Nebraska, Idaho, Oregon, Nevada, and parts of Arizona. And then on the East Coast, the Northeast, Maine does not get a lot of love when it comes to cell phone carrier coverage not with AT&T and not with T-Mobile. Lastly, we're talking Verizon and poor Verizon struggles heavily when it comes to growing their 5G. Right now, they're sitting at 11% coverage, which is substantially lower than T-Mobile and AT&T's coverage. And they grew a whole 1% coverage this last year. And let's real quick remind ourselves how much money Verizon spent on buying 5G Spectrum. They spent around $50 billion and to have only grown grown their coverage by 1% in the last year and 11% total is dismal. However, they do have this on their side. Verizon overall generally beats out AT&T and T-Mobile when it comes to 5G speed. So if you can get Verizon 5G, it will be great if you can find it. And with all of that being said, let's take a look at Verizon's 5G coverage map. This coverage map is sad. There's no way I can name the five states with the least amount of coverage because there are too many. Um, basically, the entire Midwest and the entire West Coast has minimal amounts of coverage. California has the most coverage on the West Coast and New Jersey and Massachusetts and Maryland have the most coverage on the East Coast and there's bits scattered in between, but not a whole lot. In the comments, let me know what your 5G coverage is like where you live and who's your carrier. I would love to hear about it. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistle Out. Thanks for watching.